Hi everyone, currently teaching aromatic chemistry uh, with my year 13 students. So we've been talking about the bonding in benzene. Uh, so I just thought I'd make a quick video about it. Hopefully explain it as simply as possible, but get across all the information you need uh, to answer a question about the bonding in benzene. So I'll just quickly go through what's already on the board and then we'll make a start. So obviously the formula of benzene is C6H6. We've got what's called a sigma framework involved in the structure. So there's a reminder of what a sigma bond is. It's a covalent bond formed by the direct overlap between two orbitals. We've also got something called a pi system in a benzene ring. Uh, so a reminder, a pi bond is a covalent bond formed by the sideways overlap between two p orbitals. So we'll deal with the sigma framework first. So I'm just going to draw up the six carbon atoms. So we've got this hexagonal ring. I'm not going to connect them yet because that's the whole point of the video. And we've got the hydrogens. So just put them there. Right, so the sigma framework basically involves three of the four outer electrons. Remember, carbon's in group four. So it's got four valence electrons, four outer electrons. Um, it uses three of them to form three sigma bonds. So if I my hand's an orbital with an electron in, okay, and this hand's another orbital, they overlap directly end to end, and you've got a shared pair of electrons in this region of space here, okay? So each carbon atom forms three sigma bonds. So if we just focus on this carbon here, so it's going to form a sigma bond with this carbon, okay, so that's like my, the, what I was doing with my hands there. So an electron in there, an electron in there from each carbon. So we've got a shared pair of electrons between there. Likewise, these two carbons do the same. And then we need to bond this hydrogen. This is also by a sigma bond. So there it is there, okay? So every carbon does exactly what that one's just done. So I'll just quickly draw that up. Okay, so this is what we call the sigma framework. So it's this sort of flat, um, planar, hexagonal ring, covalent bonds, sigma bonds. Right, so let's move over to the pi system now. So rather than draw all that again, I'm gonna draw this flattened hexagon. So this is gonna be my sigma framework. I'll put the hydrogens on as well. Remember, we've, we've only dealt with three of those four electrons. So where are, where's the fourth electron on each carbon? Well, it's sitting in a p orbital. So if you remember, a p orbital is a region of space that kind of looks like that. So it has an upper lobe and a lower lobe. So if I do the upper lobes on each carbon of the p orbital in red, and I'll do the lower lobes in green. Okay, so these are p orbitals. And basically what happens is the orbitals are in this position, so the perpendicular, the right angles to that sigma um, framework, they overlap, the upper lo lobes overlap sideways and the lower lobes overlap sideways as well. And so I'll just show that. So we've got these upper lobes all overlap with each other. Likewise, the lower lobes do exactly the same. So we get that. And basically what happens is we get a new region of space formed where the electrons can move around in. So if we're talking about the upper region of space, we've got this like donut shape ring and the six electrons can just whiz around in that region of space. Likewise, we've also got that going on underneath the um, sigma framework as well. So I've got a model that shows uh, that. So it looks like this. So I'll show you, if I show you the before and after models. So I'll just put that there. So we've got the sigma framework. So that's the, obviously the carbons with these gray pieces of plastic. So there's 
the sigma bond of the hydrogen, sigma bond of that carbon, sigma bond of that carbon, and then there's those p orbitals at right angles to the um, hexagonal ring, the sigma ring, and the upper lobes overlap, and the lower lobes all overlap, and we get that, okay? So we call this the delocalized ring of pi electrons, okay? So pi electrons, because of the way the overlap's gone, um, direct, sorry, sideways overlap between two p orbitals, and um, it's delocalized because the electrons are shared between more than two um, atoms, okay? So this is a delocalized ring of pi electrons. Right, so what we'll draw is sort of simplified version of that. So we've got that upper delocalized ring, and we've got the lower, and the six electrons will either be up there or down there. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if there's anything else you want, just pop a message um, in the comments section. If you want to see more detailed videos, then head over to my YouTube channel, Magum Guy as well, and I've got thousand, over a thousand videos there. The whole available chemistry is covered. Um, but anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Cheers. Bye.